Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show how to revive your old desktop computer. So this is my HP Pavilion desktop with the Core 2 Duo processor and it came with Windows Vista that was around 15 years old. So you might have seen a lot of wasted space in older desktops. So I have kept an extension card here that is inbuilt and have kept the audio video adapter so well. So you can customize this according to your requirements. So whatever you need, you can just put it inside, but don't block the fan or the air vent. So that's it. So it's neatly packed right now and I can just close it and I can use it. So this is the best use of a desktop computer. So the cabinet, it accommodates everything. And as you can see, the fan is not blocked. So the air intake and the exhaust, so nothing happens with that. And this is the setup box that I'm using it for the dish antenna and right now I think any monitor it supports multiple inputs so here I'm uh, having VGA and DVI input so if you have HDMI you can use directly that and right now this is working out through the VGA adapter the audio video to VGA adapter and I can just change channels from there so this is uh, another use of this particular desktop so the monitor as it supports multiple inputs so i'm using it as a tv and right now i can switch it to the computer so that's as simple as that so I have installed windows 11 on this let me uh, start the timer and check out the boot timings so this is installed with the method that have uh, given in the previous video i'll leave a link below in the description and also put it over there and as you can see it's loaded and it has taken around 28 seconds which is commendable as i have an ssd so th this is a major component so if you upgrade your old hard disk to ssd the boot timing should be faster it will be more responsive and also it is mainly usable so if you have an old laptop or desktop the first upgrade that you should do is with the ssd upgrade even a 128 gigabyte or a 256 uh, gigabyte ssd should suffice and right now let let me check out the specifications of this particular computer so let me go into properties and as you can notice it's not like uh, snappy or something like that but it's livable so as you can notice the specifications have come up so it's a core 2 duo processor the e4600 2.4 gigahertz 4 gigs of ram so that's fine and also it has an inbuilt uh, nvidia graphics so right now this is the specifications and let me open chrome so as you can notice the chrome instantly opens up so there is no lag but once it opens up it takes its own sweet time so i have a lot of extensions and the bookmarks so it will generally take a lot of time to fire up and get ready i'm using this momentum dashboard so it's a great organizing uh, dashboard so you get a wallpaper every day a different one and also you can put your main focus over there so that's a great thing and it's finally loaded up so let me fire up some youtube videos so this computer can play any video up to 1080p without any issues so mainly thanks to the ssd but still at many places i can see the drop frames so that's the reason i'm gonna try the chrome flex os so skip to that part if you want to see that so let me fire up some uh, browser benchmark test so this is the speedometer 2.0 so it will test the browser uh, responsiveness and all the speed tests so uh, i have fired up the test and let me skip to the good part so here we have the results so it's 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 really poor so with the 24 and i'll get somewhere around 100 above with the uh, uh, normal computers of these ages and about 200 with m1 max don't forget to take backup before installing Chrome Flex OS as there is no option to select hard drive during install. And to create a disk, so there are a lot of videos so you can refer to them or you can just uh, go to the Chrome web store, you can get the Chromebook recovery utility and select the Chrome Flex OS and also the beta version and once it is done you can just take the USB drive and put it into your computer and just uh, have to install just like any other OS so you can press the escape key that is with the HP or with the F9, F10 that depends on your computer. So right now I have plugged in and I'm gonna select the pen drive uh, or the USB drive where I have the OS and I'm gonna click on that. So the Chrome OS, so it boots into Chrome OS. So there are two options you can select from. So once you click on begin, so you get the two, uh, the both options. So one, you can install it directly on your hard disk or you can try it just like the Linux OS. 
and you require internet for uh, installing this you you cannot do it offline so once you sign in uh, with your google account so you are good to go so there is no other setup required so it is pretty simple and you'll be up and running within 10 10 to 15 minutes so depending on your hard drive or ssd that you have and the installation is complete right now so let me try to boot up and also let's see how much time it takes to boot so this is the first boot and as you can see like it should be instant so there is no much um, os layer or uh, anything such with the chrome os so it's a pretty light operating system and as you can notice so it's trying to boot up and ta -da, it is there and once we log in so this is the home screen that we get and uh, it just looks like uh, windows 11 with the icons in the center or maybe the chrome had it first i don't know so it's pretty responsive I, I can see it much lighter than windows 11 or windows 10 for that matter so let me fire up some youtube here so the load times are almost the same or maybe yeah so uh, there is no much difference with the uh, web page load times but the responsiveness of the windows so that is really great so i didn't have this uh, responsible windows with the uh, windows 11 so it's great with the chrome os or the chrome flex os so let me fire up some browser benchmark test here so just to verify if we have some improvement so we got 22 over there and here let's check out the results and here we have it so it is 31 so there is slight improvement even with the browser performance so overall the chrome flex os is really great os for your old desktop or laptops so you can just reuse them and that's all i had in this video thank you for watching subscribe for more videos like this stay safe and peace